then goodbye to stable diffusion and mid journey as there's a new king in the ai generation of artificial images and this is yoda yo ai now yoda yo ai is a creative hub for vtubers and anime lovers where you can create anime and vtuber fan art on this platform for free without installing any sd you're able to see that it focuses on many different genres but specifically on anime and creating amazing artificial generated images within these genres and this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video as we go more into showcasing what you can actually do with this amazing application now just take a look at this next video now I'm going to select a prompt to create a realistic background. So I'm going to create a realistic vision, which is the model that you can pick with the different types of models. Now, as I talked about specifically designs with an anime type of art style. So you can basically design many different types of animated images as well as realistic backgrounds, which you can be used to help you generate different types of images. So in this case, I'm going to click the realistic vision model. Now, in terms of a spell, this is something that enhances the video. So you you can select different types, backgrounds, uh, you have a concept, character, and different styles. So in this case, I'm going to create a background of an ocean. So I can click on different spells, I can add this spell, and I can add different type of background which will help me enhance the character visualization of this image. So I'm going to now say create me an image of a sun sunrise, I'd say at the beach and I can click on generate and it will use up the yo beans which is something that I'll cover later on in the video but you can see with a single click it takes a couple seconds and you're going to be able to see in a beautiful image of what we gave with the prompt and it generates this outputted image and the great thing is you can tweak it and modify it so that it can be adjusted to your own preferences such as your own canvas size as well as the different models that could be used to help you generate your model and this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video now guys before we actually get into the video it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can go check out the patreon page at world of ai and this is where you can get exclusive features where you can get access to our vibrant discord community which will access and give you access all right with a lot of amazing features that will definitely benefit you in the world of ai now guys if you guys haven't followed world of ai on twitter definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news over here and lastly make sure you check out world of ai subscribe turn notifications bell like this video and comment anything you want to see in future uploads and if you guys haven't seen our previous videos i highly recommend that you do so because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you'll definitely benefit from so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned throughout the video and we will get right to it hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai in today's video, we're going to be covering Yoda Yo AI as well as some of the things that we talked about at the start where we'll showcase what you can actually do with this amazing application. Now guys, Yoda Yo AI is a free project in which you can utilize and generate different types of images at your own need. Now, as we talked about at the start, at its core, you're able to see that Yoda Yo AI has been built upon amazing cutting edge deep learning algorithms, particularly the GAN network, and it basically utilizes other neural network architectures to make this application functional. Now, at its fundamental core, you are able to see that Yoda Yo AI has the ability to create realistic and visually appealing images by learning from vast amounts of diverse visual data. Now, during its training phase, Yoda Yo AI has been exposed to a wide array of images, which ranges from photographs to illustration paintings and even graphics. And this is what helps it train to get the best outputted AI generated images. Now, this exposure allows the AI to develop a deep understanding of various artistic styles, textures, colors, and visual elements to help you get the best generated images. Now guys, at the start, I talked about how it is meant to be used for different purposes as they have 2000 art styles which are available for anyone to create different types of images. You're able to create portraits, backgrounds, different prompts to create different art styles and it could be utilized for many different things that you have in mind. 
Now you get 400 credits as a new user. So you're able to utilize and create many different images with different types of art styles. Now it only takes five credits, which are basically yo beans and five credits or five euro beans can be used to help create one image. And after a 24 hour period, you're actually debited 100 daily credits, which means that after 24 hours, you'll be given 100 more credits to be used to generate different types of images. Now you can also get 200 other additional Yobin credits. And this is something that they stated with their paper. And they said that you can get these two extra additional 200 weekly credits if you join their contest in their discord which could be very beneficial for many people now yodayo ai is basically renowned for its incredible vibrant community so if you want to check that out i'll leave that link in the description below and it supports many different like genres such as anime vtubers ai you have like different stable diffusion generation like concept arts that are created with yodayo ai and there's different contests and features that could be used to help increase the conversation of ai image generation so i highly recommend that you check that out now let us actually get to the next step of the video where we showcase how you can actually create your own artwork so if you are to click on the new artwork tab over here you're able to start generating different images over here now you're able to enter a prompt right here which will be used to help create and generate the image that you want now there's different settings that you can input you can also have negative prompts which basically means that you're able to allow the actual ai generator to make sure it excludes some of these things so in this case uh it presets it to excluding the watermark different texts signatures artist name logos that could be used from different images to help you create the ai generated image so you want to keep these things in mind before you actually generate your image now you can also add different things like if you don't like the glare in the image you can exclude that by typing in exclude the glare and this is one of the most remarkable things that you can see with this amazing generative ai application now this is something that could be used to help create amazing canvases portraits or many different animation styles that could be used for different like videos websites and it's basically at your own use as it's open source i want to focus on the tavern feature at yoda yo ai as it's currently in beta phase but it has incredible opportunities for you to engage in different types of chit chat with your own ai companion now this feature basically brings the vtubers to life through this cutting edge ai technology and allows you as a user to have interactive conversations with them in real time and it's basically like stepping into a lively and bustling virtual tavern where you can like have conversations with these different types of beloved characters that you have like a connection with for example if you watched dragon ball z you would have a great connection with goku in which you can start chatting and having a connection with your favorite character now the tavern basically creates a dynamic and immersive experience which bridges the gap between fans and your own virtual idols so you're basically able to live a life with your own specific preferable character that you've grew up watching or basically have a connection with and it's currently a beta feature but they're continuously evolving it so that it makes it more immersive and more realistic for you to have a different type of ai character companion so that you can basically live up and enjoy conversations with so this is something i highly recommend that you check out as it's a really cool way for you to develop a connection or in a way have your own ai companion now you can see over here i'm chatting with koku which is amazing uh, i asked it or i basically said hey goku you're a hero to me i grew up watching you and i aspire to be like you my name is world of ai and you can see it talks like how goku actually is as a character and it's an amazing way for you to chat along and have a connection with your favorite ai companions characters as well as different traits that you really love about these different features in the ai world so now guys before i actually go more in depth in the actual generation i just want to showcase that there is a comprehensive guide as to how you can utilize each feature of yoda yo ai but in this case of the video i'm going to showcase everything step by step so you can get a better idea now firstly if you click on the enhance feature 
This is something that could be used after you generate an image so that you can basically tweak it to whatever you want. You're able to download the image and create a post within the actual website so you have a huge community that can chat with the image so that they can get a better idea as to how you generate that image and so that you can basically share your own image creation that you basically made. Now in this case you're able to click on the enhance button which can basically tweak and play around with how you want the image to be generated once again with your own specific needs. So in this case, you can upscale it to a different metric, which is resizing the image to a different dimension. You're able to change the width, the height, as well as the different steps, which is to determine how the AI will take different steps to generate the enhancement that is given. And this is a parameter that offers flexibility. So you can try different values to achieve the desired outcome. So it will then take like you can take up to 50 steps in this case but it, the default is 10 steps which gives you the best optimized desired outcome of your own generated image now there is other features in which you can tweak the strength which basically shows how much the ai will alter the image from its original state so you can basically keep this at 0.55 which will get you the best optimized amount now there's an upscaler feature and this is where the there it focuses on the generation settings and it allows you to choose the method the ai will use to upscale your image so you have different ones that you can play around with uh, you have the nearest latent option which could be used to help give you a better image generation so if you want to get a better idea as to how and what to utilize i highly recommend that you check out the comprehensive guide because you, then you'll get a better image generation so now in this case i'm just going to showcase i'm going to tweak the image to be a little bit bigger and i'm going to enhance the feature so you can actually generate this after with the same prompt that you gave it initially and we'll take a couple seconds to render it and i'll be right back and look at that you're able to get such a more clear image and this is because of the enhancement that we gave it now obviously it will now depend on what upscaling that you're doing if you're requiring a different model it'll basically ask for more yobin so this is one thing that you want to keep in mind when you're actually using the enhancement feature but in this case you're also able to tweak the enhancement beforehand prior actually generating the images and this is where you're able to select and tweak with different settings over here you're able to choose different canvas size you can choose a large portrait size larger landscape or even your own custom size now you're able to tweak with the seed which is generating different types of content and images to help create your image there's sampling methods which we talked about previously and the steps as well as the scale so you can tweak around these settings before actually generating it and this is something that will prevent you from actually using the enhancement but obviously you can utilize the enhancement later on to tweak the image so it's more like to your preference i would say now guys if you scroll down a little bit more you'll come across the model menu and this is where the actual application allows you to choose an art style that the ai will use to generate your image now there's 95 different models available and obviously they're continuously adding different ones as time goes by but each one interprets your prompt and negative prompt in a unique way to be generated within that actual sample style and it gives you different artistic views so obviously you can have different things that are prevalent over here such as if you want a different anime style you can have an image generated within that style now if you want more of a realistic style you can select different categories and models to help you get that type of actual image now if you go down even more you see the spells tab and this is a menu that offers mini models and adds specific elements to your generative image such as like characters poses art styles and it's different things that could be used to help tweak the image even more now guys if you had to click on the credits tab which is the yobeans tab and it showcases how many yobeans you have for your daily use now obviously when you create an account you get 400 as we talked about previously and you have a daily free yobean limit which is 100 a single 24 hour period now i only had this for 30 minutes and i went through around 130 ish yo beans and it just shows that you can use these up like in an instant uh less than like 20 minutes for me specifically and i was able to utilize so much as i was trying to generate different types of twitter backgrounds for my twitter page and it's fairly cheap so if you want to purchase your own yo beans to create your own images 
I highly recommend that you do so because you're easily going to run out of your credits. So definitely check this out by clicking on the Yo Beans tab. Now guys, before I move on further, I just wanted to emphasize on one important fact. Now, I've used many different models that generate different types of AI images. And, and specifically, I utilized Mid Journey, for example, Stable Diffusion, and many others. But one thing that made me want to make a video on Yoda Yo AI is that I was able to efficiently and effectively create these images with a low end PC like mine. Now, I've used these other applications and it takes forever to generate these images. But with Yoda Yo AI, I was actually able to generate such high quality images. Now, guys, there's actually a really cool, unique feature that is quite hidden. And this is the icon button over here on the Explorer page. And this is just something that anyone can use to help recreate an image that they really like. So for example, if I really wanted to recreate this image to a certain type of preference that I would like it to be created within, I would click on this icon button and it will show me the prompt that was used to actually create this image. Now I can use the exact same settings that was used to create it, or I can copy the prompt so that I can tweak it and edit it to my own preference. In this case, you get the same steps, scale, and the seed that was used to help create it. So in this case, I can just click use this uh, actual prompt and I can generate it fairly easily where it types in Arizona Ranger with a big iron on his hip and it creates the exact same image that we saw on the explore page. So this is really cool and it's a hidden feature that not a lot of people know about and I highly recommend that you check this out as it could be very beneficial for you. Now there's cool upcoming features that will be released with Yoda Yo AI and firstly that is the image to image feature. In this case you're able to upload a certain type of image style in which you can help Yoda Yo AI generate that same sort of style with their different types of models. Secondly they're developing an Android app which will be released very shortly. Thirdly, they have new models and spells being released bi-weekly so you can access different types of styles and models anytime you want in that bi-weekly frame. So this is a way for you to access the best features with Yoda Yo AI as they're continuously working upon increasing as well as implementing different features so that you can have the best enhanced experience. Fourthly, they're incorporating a training post section as well as a category feature so it enhances your user-friendly interface as well as your experience while you utilize this application. And lastly, you're able to generate four images at a single time in which you can save and utilize with your own Yobeans. And these are some of the cool things that they're continuously working upon. So it's quite amazing as to how they're basically generating these things, as well as how they're working to improve this application. So it's something to keep an eye out as this is a great way for you to utilize AI generative tools with Yoda Yo AI. I'll leave the link in the description below as well as many different things that I used in today's video such as the comprehensive guide and the website link as well as a way for you to get uh, your own free Yo Bean credits. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got a lot of value out of today's video. So you can basically create your own AI image generation with this new application of Yoda Yo AI. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Make sure you check out the Patreon page, follow World of AI on Twitter, and subscribe to turn on the notification bells, like this video, and comment anything you want to see in future uploads. And with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity and I'll see you guys very shortly. Peace out fellas.